Hello, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jaden Wozni with a look at your top stories from this past week. 19 people were arrested in an ongoing drug trafficking investigation on Thursday in Vernon after police raided four locations on 24th Avenue. Officers forced their way into the locations where street-level trafficking operations were believed to be in the works. Constable Chris Terleski says officers seized an undisclosed amount of fentanyl and methamphetamine along with cash, several edged weapons, a firearm and items consisting with illicit drug trafficking. Terleski stated the case is still under investigation and police will send their findings to the BC Prosecution Service for charge consideration. The first day of December in the Okanagan Valley saw some above-seasonal, record-breaking temperatures recorded. Temperatures reached the mid to high teens on Wednesday. Kelowna reached 20 degrees by the afternoon, while Penticton rose to a balmy 22.5 degrees. Doug Lundquist of Environment Canada said the unreasonably high temperatures in Penticton was enough to break a record for the province of BC. The unusually high temperatures are a credit to a storm that hit the coast, but the outlook for the rest of the coming weeks dips back down into lower temperatures. And with cooler weather on the way in our area, that's not welcoming news for anyone experiencing homelessness, as the Kelowna's Gospel Mission says they are completely full. Executive Director for the Gospel Mission, Carmen Rempel, says they have seen a dramatic increase in people seeking shelter and support. The mission says the increase is due to a number of factors such as COVID-19 and the fact that people are experiencing homelessness in flooded areas have made their way to Kelowna. Rempel says they haven't had luck in securing an additional winter shelter because real estate in Kelowna is very difficult to come by. A man who struck and killed three Nigerian men with his pickup truck in Kamloops back in 2019 has been sentenced to three years in prison. 33-year-old Riley McKnight was driving more than twice the speed limit just seconds before the accident and was sentenced to three years on Friday after pleading guilty to one count each of dangerous driving causing death and failure to stop at an accident causing death. Three men were killed in the early morning crash on November 3rd, 2019 at First Avenue and Battle Street. A fourth occupant of the vehicle survived the incident. Once he's released from prison, McKnight will be bound by a 10-year firearms prohibition and a three-year driving ban. He was also ordered to submit a sample of DNA to a national criminal database. Dash camera video of a crash on Highway 97 south of Peachland last Friday has been made public. Brendan Miller shared the video with Castanet News after first sharing it with police, showing the crash was caused by an illegal attempt to pass on a double solid line. The SUV attempted the pass on the double solid, narrowly avoiding a head-on collision with a freight truck just before crashing into the cliff adjacent to the highway as it climbs to the hill south of Antlers Beach. Because of the crash, the highway was closed for roughly an hour and an air ambulance was sent to the scene. Injuries are still not known at this time. And that's all the time we have for this week's Week in Review. Thank you so much for joining me. For Castanet News, I'm Jaden Wozni.